Hello and greetings everyone. I'm just here, as you can see, I've just been feeding the pigeons. And they seem to enjoy it all very nicely. Um, that's my little bit I've done today to help, you know, fellow creatures that are suffering at the same time as uh, we are. They suffer a lot because they depend on us. They depend on people going around giving them scraps and feeding them bread and taking things out of dustbins at the back of shops. They depend on that. And when people are not doing that, I've noticed the pigeons are getting a lot thinner. Um, but I do my bit. I come down here every day, same time. And you know, I feed the pigeons. It doesn't cost nothing. Um find it difficult to get used to this new cleaner meat at the minute, but you know, it, it, it will take time. Um, and this for the eye, the eye is healing up lovely. Um, this part here, I seem to get a little bit of infection that was swollen up. Um, But, you know, it, it's getting better as well. Um, I've, I suffer from sleep apnea, one of the problems I've got. And um, I've got to wear a face mask on a, on a night time. And the face mask goes exactly over this. And this is irritating it. Now, the cut itself is gone. It just, where the mask rubs it, it, it seeps and gets wet. And then it dries into a, like a little scarf thing. So, um... I'm just going to tell people I got stabbed in the face during the fight or something when really it was a tiny little cat scratch. But the eye, eyes healing lovely. I've got a headache which I've had for a couple of days, but that's only natural. Um, there's only one of the puncture wounds that is still pretty sore, but the rest of it's good. I'm all happy with that. Um, apart from that, I would just like to know how all you are coping. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. I hope you uh, are still keeping active, taking your, doing your prayers. Uh, summer solstice will be coming up shortly. And like everyone, I'll be making plans for that, doing it solo, going out somewhere and doing it. It's a shame that when, you know, especially in the northeast where we're starting to connect more and get together more, um, things seem to happen like this i put a stop to it one of the people i'm connected with in one of the groups because we've got a group concentrating on people in the northeast of england um one of our members here uh, teaches fire walking brilliant first thing we're going to do when all this is over is arrange um all get together go camping do some fire walking it's not as easy as what people think um, but you know, it's, it's going to help bring people together after this because most of them were in a bad way over, um, being isolated. I know I am. Human contact is just something I'm not really even sure I can remember what it is. But this won't be going on for long. Um, it is seem to get a bit more serious around here. My ex partner told us the other week that, um, and it was 58 people died in the hospital she works in. She's um, a domestic, uh, you know, deep clean, what people call cleaners, but they do a very important job because without them, a lot more people would have died. Uh, another health worker that I'm very proud of is Brother Jay. Um, unfortunately, he's just lost a member of his family um, through the virus, so my condolences go out to him. And we can don't go anyone out to anyone who's lost a member of the family through this or any other reason. You know, it, it's hard to lose people. Uh, when this is over, though, you know, hopefully everyone I personally know will still be around then. Hopefully. You know, I pray the gods for whoever's going to survive is going to survive in, in full mental health and full physical health. Um, you know, it is in, in the hand of in the hand of the gods um, and Mother Nature to be honest. Mother Nature is going to decide who she's going to take, who she's not going to take. So let's just accept it, do what we can, you know, um, to prevent it. But 
it's one thing you can guarantee we all will pass away and go on to the next life so you know that's gonna be that's gonna be good right just like to know how you're all doing you know uh, put in the comments below what you should doing what is your plan when this is all over uh, I'd be very interested to know so I would like to see some more photos of you so if any of have um, built any you know any ornaments or built an altar or done what I've done had a haircut you know just post and let people know we're a community let people know let people see them all around we all care we all listen to each other and if you haven't talked to one of your brothers or sisters in a long time i'm on about your blood brothers and sisters give them a call let them know that you care let them know that you're listening and for your spiritual and folk brothers and sisters keep in touch with them as well we all need it all right i'd like to see it just catch us all later hail gods toodles